like the fact that with watercolor you have to work fast and you really have to know where you're going with things but also learn to live with the fact that it's not always going to work the way you want to. It's going to do some things that are unpredictable so it's splashing paint into water. It may run in different directions or interact with other colors that maybe you didn't anticipate but that's something that's exciting and often reveals some of the best parts of the piece. I like that unpredictability with the work. Fish are awesome. I like fish, obviously, but the um, I, it's the marrying a couple of passions. I'm, I'm also a big fisherman, I'm born into a family of fishermen, um, have done that all my life. So the opportunity to kind of blend a couple of different things that I really love to do with painting and fishing, why it didn't dawn on me until I was, you know, later in my life, I don't know, but uh, one day I couldn't go fishing, um, some stormy day, whatever the, the case was, and I was sitting at the house wanting to paint, couldn't think of anything to paint, painted a brown trout. It was terrible, but it was the first fish that I ever painted. And from there, I started to learn more and more, and it really kind of created a, a side passion that I didn't even know existed. There's, there's some species of fish that I painted that I haven't caught, but maybe on my list of fish I would like to catch before I, I die, your bucket list fish. There's also certain types of fish that are, are just, um, to me, are, are such unique works of beauty that I just gotta take a crack at it and be able to try to paint that. The, the first painting I sold, I was kind of embarrassed that anybody would be interested enough in my painting to actually give me money for it. Um, that feeling is still there when you went even in years down the line um, I guess in a way you're selling a little bit of you and you're exposing your your work and your inner being to someone else and there's a little intimidation with that um, but there's a lot of flattery that comes with it I'm honored that someone would take interest in what I have created and, and be willing to pay me for it to take it home and put it up in their house it's, you know, it's hard to even express in words how appreciative I am of that Patagonia reached out to me and wants to uh, and, and license some of my artwork for some of their apparel. That was out of nowhere and I was just incredibly flattered to have that happen. Uh, and just recently was featured in one of my favorite magazines, the fishing magazine called Angler's Journal. Uh, I've read it from its inception. It's amazing artwork and, and photographs and, uh, uh, and the writing is fantastic. To be considered to be part of that magazine was something that was an honor that was completely unexpected, but also one of my highlights and uh, that just came out. It was great to see that. I'm Dan Shirley. You can check out more of my artwork at dancharley.com. Thank you so much for your interest in my artwork.